know me? I'm Alan Bashville. I'm the brother of the groom. The, <laughs> the middle child. So, uh, anyway, um, some things about Brian to start off with. Uh, people who've known him know he's more the independent, more the adventurer, the uh, let me do this my way type person. But he's also a lot more than that. He's that type of brother that younger brothers look up to. And I'm going to explain this through storytelling. This is how I do things. All right. So I was at my second year at a community college, about ready to decide where I wanted to go to college at. And I wasn't extremely happy with how I went, you know, personal-wise through my life so far. I wanted to uh, be a better person than I was. So. And one night, I think it was through MSN Messenger, and for the younger kids, it was like our Facebook. I, and uh, so, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where I, I was sitting there, and I, I was talking uh, to a couple people, and then I got a phone call from uh, Brian, and we're sitting there talking about things, you know, and I'm talking about where I was going to go to school. I didn't know where I wanted to go after I got done with this place. And I told them, you know, I, I want to be a better person. I want to be better than the person that I am. And... Brian came up to me and he's like, well, come join me here at South Dakota State University. And I was kind of like, oh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind, but I know you're going to keep on going to South Dakota And so I ended up going there, and not only does he give me, and I thought this was kind of neat because uh, the father tonight was talking about that circle of people that keep you together and keep you in place. And I came to South Dakota State, and not only did I have a great mentor, my older brother, Brian, but I had a great group of people in the Delta Chi the fraternity there. I also got a chance to meet a lovely young lady that Brian introduced me to, which is my wife. <laughs> but in going through these, these, this situation and this transformation, I ended up turning into closer to the person I wanted to be. I started seeing myself grow, seeing myself, you know, grow as a person, as a public speaker. My brother used to be the, sitting in the back of the Delta County meetings going like, how many times I've messed up, he's put his name up in the hand. <laughs> he was always that person that tried to keep me in line and push me to be the person I wanted to be, which was the reason I went there. And, you know, I think he should know this, and I, I think he does know this, is that I am the person I am today because of you. I'm not a followed in his footsteps and went and went with his people, with his circle, and joined with everything I had, I would get there. And as I was saying in the beginning, Brian was always that the independent person. But as him and Rebecca started getting together, he started turning into this more dependent on each other. And what's the, the whole thing I started getting off is I thought of something the other day that I hold dear to my heart, and some advice I want to give to you is Marriage is not two individuals working on a similar goal. It's a collaborative force of two people pulling out the best characteristics in each other. So, I'm pulling for you, Rebecca. Thank you. I have a sister now. I'm excited. Th these two could say it before. I can say it now. All right? I love you. I wish the best for you, too. And get her down. <laughs> For those that uh, don't know me, I'm the cutest, best, I mean, DJ best. Put a best man right, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> um, Hi. Um, you know, it's funny, I, was, I have a, had a little bit of a drive up here from Kansas, and I was thinking to myself, I got a laughing more to myself. As a little kid, growing up with Brian and Alan, I used to wonder, would you like to have sisters instead? <laughs> being the youngest, and uh, I remember being, you know, four or five years old, thinking to myself, you know, I'd like to have a sister. It's funny, it's funny the way how God works because, you know, obviously growing up, He didn't grant me that wish, but uh, as of today, I now have two sisters in my life. Um, first with Paige, beautiful Paige. 
and then today uh, with Rebecca. So, uh, Rebecca, I'm sure this has been said to you time and time again today, but we love you and welcome to the family. Not a bride. <laughs> Brian was a hard act to follow growing up, uh, whether it be through sports, grades in school, trying to follow up the Peace Corps, I mean, how do you do it? Uh, but Al, Al, Al pretty much summed it up best, is that what he did in his own life, um, as the youngest brother, I wanted to make him proud of me, and so I wanted to make him proud to look at me and, and see his younger brother live up to his fullest potential. And that's what he always drove me to do. And so, through the years growing up, I always wanted him to look at me and say, I'm proud of you. But today, big brother, I love you, and I'm proud of you. Just as I've always been proud of you. I love you. Without further ado, I believe we're going to have the bourbon toast. I'll be the kind of Hey, I So, for all of you with the drink or the, the bourbon toast in front of you, this is to Brian and Rebecca. Many years of happiness. I love you, big brother. I love you, big sister. Let's have a good time tonight. To Brian and Rebecca. <laughs> It's so good. It doesn't <laughs> <laughs>